Hello, my beautifuls. I hope your day has gone well so far. Either good morning, good afternoon, or good evening to you. Ooh, I'm excited to get into this. This is very, very exciting. So if you have just stumbled into this video, if you will, um, this is a very intricate read, and there is going to be something that you needed to hear. Um, if you are rejoining us from the set of seven, um, you'll know what that means. Links are down below. This is the last set of doors. So this is going to be a very intense read. If you begin this reading and you don't know where we are in placement, I would highly suggest going to the comments pinned below and choosing that first video. There's my dog Gretchen. Um, she's saying hi to you. And choose that first video to kind of go through the series because this could be something that you need for years to come. This is a very, very important series and it is called 12 Degrees of Higher Self. We're about to start this. If you are new, welcome to 1111 Tarot. I'm going to go tend to my dog Gretch as usual. Every video, as soon as I start to record, she gets a tiny bit jealous. She just needs a little bit more love and um, I'll put her in her favorite chair. So I will be right back, my love. And I am back. And I am so excited to see all my 1111 family as you are all home. I am so grateful. Do you hear the bell? I am so grateful for my 1111 family. You guys are beautiful. To become a 1111 family member, you just simply show up for the reads. We accept you as is. We love you for who you are. All right, my lovelies, with that, let's go ahead and get started. I'm excited. We'll put this candle right here for you. And I'm about to hit this little brass bowl three times. I invite you to intertwine your energy into this frequency for your highest good. The more you tap in, tune in, the more this reading will resonate for you, my love. Three, two, one. My nose is itching already. Archangel Michael, thank you for holding my hand as I walk through the tarot. Continue to protect me spiritually and physically from any weapon that none shall manifest or prosper against me. I thank you for that protection and I ask you to continue to do so. I am ever so grateful. Archangel Raphael, please continue to heal my body, my lungs, my energy my spiritual, mental, physical, and emotional body. I thank you for the continued healing. I ask you to continue to heal my 1111 family and all those that joined us. Archangel Gabrielle, thank you humbly for the beautiful guidance and the sight that you give to me that I may share this message for those that need to hear what their highest path is for their highest good. Allow me to see through what it is that we're about to experience on the sixth level. Show us the way that we will prosper to our highest placement in life. We accept the blessing of information, the healing, the abundant prosperity, the wealth of family love, protection, guidance, and healing. Thank you. All right, my lovelies, spirits here. My eyes are doing funny again where they feel tickly. I'm feeling feathers on my nose. My ears are going crazy and my body is hot. So, hooey, let me slip off my little house slippers and roll up my pants legs. I have little stretchy pants on. Okay, Whew. take a little drink and get ready. What I have been seeing, y'all, is so interesting. Like I'm seeing an elevator and then I'm seeing a glass door over here. So this is the elevator and this is glass doors with glass windows all in it. Like you can see the whole world. It's crazy looking over here. Like it is all windows, all glass. There's no framework, nothing. It's just glass, glass, glass. 
over like from a moon perspective like the moon being glass and you're in it and then this is the elevator and um you can choose to use the elevator let's get started with your beautiful energy and understand what you're currently going through for this energy now this is our sixth set of options our doors and we need to understand this energy keep in mind you may not feel that right now this read could be for your future self your um at a different timeline but this will be in your knowledge bank so if you watch it now you'll understand it when the time is right okay because this is going to be coming up it'll be a different time for each person um the divine gives us a gift for those that are chosen to share like this um one voice one big voice that is shared with the multiple and that's what i've always considered tongues is being able to give one message and it reached every single person according to what they understand it's a different level and if ever a message that i deliver is not something clear and easy to understand it is not for you at that time might be you later okay let's get your energy my loves let's see what's going on with my level and family and all those that chose to join us look at you i told you standing stones passage this is it this is it do you see that passageway beautiful red dress male or female doesn't matter this is just somebody that's ready I'm seeing like Stonehenge. It's a 40. Just so you know. Fours are all about foundation. They're about pillars too. The four pillars. Osho's in tarot. We're going to go way out here. I want to understand. First of all, I want to understand this elevator. What is this? Okay. What is this about? And thank you. Are you serious? This is the elevator directly to source. Do you see that? Directly to source. I knew this was going to be an incredible read. Oh my golly. Let me see the windows. What is this clear glass that I see? This glass room. This glass door to a glass room. Thank you traveling experiencing observing the world collecting information and sharing light guiding others it's an eight hmm wow okay i want to jump over here a little bit i want to understand this elevator to source you have a direct at this point when you get to this level, this set of doors, you're going to have an elevator directly to source. Let me understand this source. Oh, thank you. I was told to get a different deck. Angel therapy. Directly to source. What is this, please? Whew. Ascended masters. Okay. Ascended Master's Room. Elevator goes to the Ascended Master's Room. Where the Ascended Masters um, keep the Akashic Records up to date. Clear yourself. Ask the angels to release any toxic energies that you may have absorbed. You're about to step through. You just have to get rid of the... We're, wow, y'all. We're going to be doing... Tomorrow night, or I mean, sorry, tomorrow in the day, we're going to be doing a detoxification. Starlights already know about it, so clear yourself. You're going to want to be there tomorrow for the special bonus read where we clear the detox. We do clear the energies. We detoxify. That's already on schedule for tomorrow, Friday, and the starlights already know about it. So that's quite impressive. You'll need to go through that process with us. It'll clear your frequency. Let's understand this traveling and this higher path traveling. 
this passage that we go through with the windows. Let's see these windows. Thank you. Sacral chakra. And it says, you are highly sensitive to chemicals, additives, processed foods, and energies right now. Respect your sensitivities by avoiding harsh items, situations, and relationships. So, yeah, it's going to get pretty tension-filled in the next um, little bit of this time frame that you're experiencing this read whenever you find it. Because there is going to be some travel where you back off an energy, like you distance yourself. Maybe, let me ask... Let's go right here. I want to understand this traveling glass window. I feel like you're an observer. You're an observer. Let's go to Osho's and Tarot for love, trust, and growth. That's what I'm feeling right now. Osho's and Tarot. In love, we get the lovers. A decision. So there's a choice in traveling in this glass room. How do we see the world? Let me get a hold of the card. These are really slick. Integrating. You're going to be integrating with the yin and the yang. This exploration. Very, very beautiful colors. Do you see that? It's the integration of your higher self. Being able to look at the bigger picture. Got it. Yeah, you're going to be choosing to um, really look at things from... Eagle eye. Look at that. Do you see the eagle? From the bird's eye. Wow. Let's see what this travel is with these glass windows and growth, please. Thank you. Oh my God. You're going to see the world. Instead of each individual person, you'll see their distorted energy instead. And you won't take it personal because you are a light healer of the world. And you can see we're all connected. We are the world. We are the world. That's beautiful. Mm. It's like you live in a glass house so you don't really throw stones. You actually embrace the fact that we all have issues. And you can look at somebody that's experiencing something where hurt people hurt people. And you can see that through a higher self perspective. Which gives you the healing and the frequency to help the world through integrating your energy. Because you self-love. Sacral chakra. Let's get over here. We will be detoxifying on Friday. You're welcome and invited, public included, to doing that. We're going to be doing ringing the bell, saying prayers. We're going to be doing some meditation. We're going to be doing candles, all in a prayer that cleanses our chakra. And I will also be smudging with some white sage. And um, I think what we'll do is I'll get some 432 gigahertz good vibration frequency to guide us a little bit, but not too much. Okay, let's look at this illumination, clarity, and wisdom in the elevator where we're going straight up to source. And we're clearing, we have to be clear to get here. So this is the last part of this portal, if you will. The dream. Oh, we're going to lose the battery. We got to switch it up, y'all. We got to get the phone plugged in. Hold on, lovelies. Hold on. Let me grab the charger. I said that's the end, and we're at the last door, and then the phone's like dark. I'm like, please don't stop recording. All right, let's get you all set up. I could have paused it while I got the cord, but I was in a hurry. I panicked. Oh, we were at 5%. I thought we were at like 3 Okay, lovelies. So, perspective, the dream. Hmm. It's in illumination, your 11th house. It is about the people. It, it's like you can see that this is all 
part of like when you're awake in the world you can see the sleepers that are dreaming because you're awake oh, this is deep spring oh my let's look at this clarity what is it that's clearly being shown to you and thank you the change of the world and look there's that yin and yang right there that world where things are being balanced there is turmoil as it gets balanced out there is major changes going on and you're going to have to really keep yourself balanced in order to keep the frequency going for those that are asleep until they do wake mm -hmm. you're going to be spending some quiet time alone i can feel that to keep your energy solid alone with the divine anyway yeah can't make it up you've matured that's maturity and you're going right to source you're getting a 3d validation about your 5d connection with the truth train hollering behind saying truth train coming through can't make it up you have integrated Wow, y'all, this is so beautiful. This has been one Indiana Jones trip, I can tell you that. Let's go ahead and understand how we marry this 3D and 5D where we bring source and this travel together, right? Whether this is spiritual or physical travel, metaphoric travel, astral travel, whatever kind of travel this is, we're bringing this exploration, if you will, could be into knowledge, um, right directly marrying it with source we're bringing it into this place of passage let's look at our earth energy here what am i feeling yep starseed tarot on this one yeah okay we're going to use the starseed oracles here and let's understand this challenge of marrying this source to this travel and experience that we go through because to me, I can see the connection already there, right? Oh my gosh. The seven, the seven star sisters. Birthing creations, tapestry of life, expressions. It's the universe. Seven star sisters. It's star travel. It's traveling in a universal way of being able to see the earth from the highest perspective, the star level, because you are a star. You are a universal guiding light. Wow. All right, you guys, we're coming up here. We're going to look at this traveling. We're going to look at the sacred chakra. The sacral chakra is all about... Um, your feelings and um, your grounding, spirituality and so forth, transformation. Yep. You are definitely reaching deep within to focus your energy into this all powerful being of love, of kindness, of healing the world. You're recognizing your frequency calls in others that have that great frequency and it's commingling, and you yet are on your own journey. Mm hmm. Here they are. Let's look at your dream abundance. You will be surrounded with abundant love, abundant finances, abundant in every way during this transitional shift. The world is going to be going through a huge change. You can trust fall. It's right here in your experience in the material world. You can trust fall right into the divine. You will be caught. The universe has your back when um, the stuff goes south for a little bit. Stuff's going to go a little bit south. Tensions are going to rise for the collective all through April and May. And it's going to get volatile. It's going to be a tsunami of information. And you're going to ride it out pretty easily with a lot of abundance. 
Let's move over here. Let's get on this elevator right up to source. We detoxify. We've matured. We've allowed the change to come in. We're mature enough to see that it's just a perspective, that it's altering that dream, that perspective, in order to see the abundance rather than the lack. Okay, here we go. Yeah, this is what I've been talking about, this intensity, and it's coming out of cleansing. You will be helping others transmute this energy. Isn't that an incredible card with the lights? You will be transmuting this energy that is so intense because you're in, you're tapped in with source. So you will be teaching others to transmute their energy with the um, example that you set for one. Yep. Rebirth. Here it is right here in renewal. You will be rebirthed and you will rebirth a lot of people by showing them how to light their lantern, how to dig deep and light your light as bright as you can. Yep. Yeah. You are being rebirthed into the knowledge that you are whole, complete, and loved, and part of God, part of his creation. And therefore, even though you have that free will, you are choosing to be with the utmost creator to really decorrupt. Yeah. We're going to take <clears throat> this story. So let's try to get our ducks back in a row. You got a story and it's big. It starts off with understanding that you are not a prisoner and no one can make you a prisoner. Only you allow that. Even if you were in prison, they cannot imprison your spirit. That you are actually free. Anything other is an illusion. And you understand that. And that concept is what we are walking into. We are walking into this tower Tearing down our false belief that we are limited because we have become conscious of our real, true power, our spirit, our light. And we experience things different than others. We understand the reasoning behind the experiences. And we're grateful for the times that we are challenged, that we express and grow. It'd be pretty boring if everything went our way all the time. There is a postponement here. I'm not sure what that is. Mind. Don't get in your head. You'll slow it down. When everybody else is locked up in their head, don't be the zombie. Just go for the nothingness and focus on the bigger perspective and realize this is just a volatile energy. Think of it as the collective is going to go through the two-year-old terrible twos of needing a nap and doesn't know it. You're going to know. They need to be quiet and listen to themselves. You're going to know that. You're going to be quiet. You're going to be listening to your inner self. They're going to be going through the dark night of the soul of trying to figure out how to sort out where they are now based on the decisions that they've created and made. Your morality is solid. That's why you weather this so good. Their morality will be brought into the light and they will look at some self-discovery through the dark night. And they're going to be reaching out. Friends are going to be reaching out. Family is going to be reaching out. Strangers are going to be reaching out. They're going to be needing guidance. And you bring that harmony. You shine the light where they're needing to be quenched their thirst, if you will. You have the holy water to bless the angel. The earth, you are the earth angel. The angels will bless you to be able to perform this because this is big. This is totality in some cases. We are facing a crisis coming up where people could even be facing what they fear is schizophrenia because they won't know that what they're going through is the dark night of the soul. They could be facing serious, serious depression. And you're going to be called to help a lot of people. You will. Because you are stable. Because you did the work ahead of time. Let's get this north node right here. What am I feeling? I'm feeling threads of fate. And on the bottom, you are the warrior. You're going to understand after you go through this situation. 
this last portal, if you will, through the glass doors of traveling and understanding the planet, pulling out everything you need, being able to balance that with the spirituality. So you have the material world, you have the physical world, and you're able to walk both because you're part of the star system itself. You don't belong to this world. You are not from this world. You are from a place where spirit exists in manifesting the light. You are of light. Be like the dolphins and just swim. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. You've got this lovely. And you're going to teach others to swim too. Let's get some beautiful blessings on this. This is incredible. I love this. Let's look at traveling. Here we go. Here we go now. DNA, karma. Yep. You will be activated. And that will happen through traveling. Whatever way you chose to do traveling. I'm excited for this, this entire journey. I, I think this is going to be beautiful. Let's go ahead and understand this beautiful blessing of source and being able to help others through this time. I've seen the bigger picture of all this journey that we have taken to get to where we are right now in life. Let's see this beautiful message of source, this blessing. And thank you. Whoa. I said thank you. I kid you not. It's all about your frequency. I can't make it up. It is harmony. It is music. It is the angel's harps. It is beautiful. Let's get the star, the seven, what is it? The seven star sisters. Yep, yep, yep. That is incredible. What do you got for me? Look at you. Just be natural. Allow things to come in organically. You are protected. You don't need to micromanage this. This will come in. All of this will come in. Totally divine and natural. Let me understand this passage a little better. And thank you. I feel like we're going to get like the new beginning card or something. I just can feel it. Ooh, yeah. Oh, look at you. Summer solstice. You're going to shine the light on all kinds of paths for people. The path. The standing stone passage. The path. The light being shined. Do you see? And you have ceremony. It's prayer. It is evoking your angels. They will protect you. They will guide you. Your spirit guides will help you. Your ancestors for your highest good will help you. Ask when you need help. They are always there. They love you. And they want you to succeed. And they want you to inspire others to inspire. I love you guys. Thank you so incredibly much for sharing your time with me, for sharing your energy with me and allowing me to share this beautiful Oracle message. This has been an amazing series. If you only watch this video, that's wonderful too. There was something here that you were supposed to see. Obviously you're here this long. So since this must have resonated with you, please love that like. And I love you to the moon and back. God bless you all.